The multi-tool is one of my favourite tools. It has a ton of uses and it'll save you a truckload of time and the dead easy to use. There's a number of attachments available that'll help you out with all sorts of jobs. I'm going to show you some basic uses and you'll see just how handy they are. Now what we've got here is a classic example of where a pot plant's been sitting on the deck. The decking boards have now gone a little bit dozy and ugly, so I'm going to show you how the multi-tool can help remove it. Now for this job I'm using the multi-tool with our wood cutting blade and also I've got a depth gauge on the front here. I've set that to 35mm, the exact thickness of our decking so I'm not going to hit our joist in behind. When cutting into hardwood, reduce the speed to ensure it doesn't burn out the blade. And don't press too hard, just let the tool do the work. I've got two more nails that's sitting underneath this trellis. Now to get to that, I'm going to use the multi-tool again. Now I'm just going to take out our wood cutting blade and swap it over with our metal cutting blade. Now that's just going to cut through those nails, lovely. There we go, decking board easily removed. Now another great use for the Mighty Multi Tool is our little detail sander here. This quite easily just clips straight on and I've got this little Velcro 240 grit sandpaper. That just sits on there quite nice and neat like that. Now I want to give this chair a restain so it's the perfect opportunity for us to use our Multi Tool little detail sander here. Just like that, one old chair ready for a stain. Another fantastic attachment that we can slip on the old multi tool is this grout removal blade. Now one of the most important things you've got to watch out for when removing the grout is to make sure you don't hit any of the surrounding tiles. Now if you are going to be removing any lino or adhesive off a floor, these scraper blades are absolutely fantastic. Now another fantastic use for our multi-tool is for cutting holes in jib board. Now I've got this little plasterboard cutting blade, we'll just simply clip that in there and I can rotate that to whatever position I like, clip it in and away we go. One tool, so many uses. You can see why it's one of my favourites.